Hello everybody, it's me. It is currently about five to nine on Thursday the 9th of February 2023. Uh, well, I went to Iceland and then I had a few days off filming when I got back just as I was getting all my life in order and all of that stuff. But I am now back to vlogging so I'll try my best to keep you updated. Iceland was awesome, had a lovely time. Uh, again, I will link below to a little journal I kept so you can find out what we got up to. Dane reads. Uh, while I was there, I read uh, two David Lagerkrantz books, so it was The Girl Who Takes an Eye for an Eye and The Girl Who Did Something Else, but The Girl Who Lived Twice. Uh, the Girl Who Takes an Eye for an Eye was a 4 out of 5, The Girl Who Lived Twice was a 3.5 out of 5. They're okay, they are books 5 and 6 in Stieg Larsson's Millennium Trilogy. Uh, these ones were continued by David Lagerkrantz after his death. No review coming, they were just alright crime novels, you know. If you've read that far in the series, stick at it, why not? I then read Jimmy White's book, uh, Second Wind. So Jimmy White is a snooker player. Basically this is his autobiography. It's kind of cool because he um, name dropped his, his ghostwriter and even let them write their own thanks in it, which I thought was quite cool of him. And uh, yeah, it was an okay book, probably a week 3.5 out of 5. Lots of him doing cocaine and drinking too much, which is somebody who's now straight edge, I was kind of like, a bit over, you know, a bit boring for me to read, but it was what it was. Um, and now I'm reading Meridian by Alice Walker. Um, so this is it's about, yeah, a high school dropout with a child and an absent husband getting to terms with racism in the US and the civil rights movement. So I've literally only just started that. I am probably going to do a full review of it. I've put a few tabs in so far. Um, so that's where we're at. I've edited a few more videos. So that's all done. I'm probably going to go to the open mic night tomorrow at Wickham Art Centre and I think Shay's going as well. Uh, then on Sunday I think she's going to Lanzarote with her aunt. So I will just be here being productive. Had a KX10 call earlier today with one of my clients. And I've got that on Monday and Thursday each week. And yeah, I had to do it. Well, I'm supposed to be doing it by myself because the person I normally do it with is away. But she showed up anyway because she missed us all, so that was nice. Uh, there's normally a sofa over there, but that's gone. I've got a new sofa coming tomorrow. And also I got rid of one of my bookcases downstairs and I'm replacing that with like a little... It's kind of going to be a combination of our dining room table and something that Shay can do her drawings and stuff on. Um, and my cleaner came around today as well. I was also supposed, to, also supposed to go to the dentist this morning, but I slept in and didn't go. So, whoops. I think that's... I think that's all I got for you folks, yeah. All right, hello everybody. It is currently uh, eight minutes past five on Sunday the 12th of February. I have done a typically shitty job of updating you guys. I've just been working really hard, basically. I actually slept badly last night because I was working till like 5 a.m. and then slept till like 3 p.m., whoops. Uh, Shay is currently, well, she's on a plane at the moment. She's due to arrive in Lanzarote at some point. Um, so I am at home alone for the next week or so and uh, so I'm going to be doing as much productivity as I can hopefully getting paid a little bit and earning a little bit of money I'm also using this opportunity to catch up with filming because I still haven't caught up with filming after going to Iceland I have to be fair to me caught up with most of my editing um, I've been watching the last of the Tremors movies and now I'm watching the TV series they've made out of it as well I also have uh, the the Strike TV series based on JK Rowling's Cormor and Strike books which I will get to eventually don't worry I downloaded it illegally so I'm not giving any royalties to uh, a trans exclusive radical feminist um, I'm also not playing the new Harry Potter Hogwarts legacy game but only because I don't really do games so I'm gonna watch somebody play it again I'm not paying her any money, I don't feel bad. Um, what have I been reading? Okay, uh, well I finished reading uh, Second Wind by Jimmy White. That was like a 3.5 out of 5, but a week one. Okay, sort of snooker memoir book. No review coming for that because I don't think I want to. Um, I read Meridian by Alice Walker, so that was really good actually. That was probably a strong 4 out of 5 and I have tabbed that out to do a review. Um, it's very Alice Walker, so it's very poetic. You can tell from reading her prose that she's a poet. Um, it's really interesting as well because it's set during the 60s, which is a time I'm interested in anyway. Um, but it's also got a lot of the civil rights stuff in, a lot of stuff about race, uh, even class really, which is unusual because you don't really get that in US books because they don't have as much of a class system as we have here in the, here in the UK. Um, and just, yeah, generally pretty good. Um, so after that, I picked up uh, Out and About, uh, Anna and Frog are Out and About by a Nuclear Car. That was a four out of five. It's just a children's book. Talked about these this series in the past. And again, it turns out I'd already read that one. Oops. Um, but yes. So 
I now only have the French ones, I think. And that'll be interesting because I imagine some of the French ones I haven't read are the French versions of the English ones that I've now read twice. So I should be able to, you know, to stick with them. So that'd be cool. Um, and I'm now just reading Caligula and Other Plays by Albert Camus. So I've read the introduction, which was fascinating. And I'm currently probably, well, I'm in the second act of Caligula. Um, it also has, um, well, it's called Malentendu, which means misheard. But I believe it's got a different English title. Cross Purpose is what it's called in English. Um, and that apparently builds on one of the bits that was in one of his other books, which I can't remember which book it was. But the idea that this dude goes to a hotel and the hotel operators murder him only to, because they murder all of their guests and steal their money, only to find out that he's actually their like son. Uh, so yeah, we've got that. We've got The Just and then The Possessed. And I believe The Possessed is a Dostoevsky adaptation. And yeah, these are all stage plays, so I am really enjoying it. It's probably gonna be a four out of five, although I am very early on in it. Tabbing it out to do a review, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And I think that is that is where I'm at. I went to the art center open mic on Friday, which was okay. Uh, I had some chips on the way back, which was peng fam. Um, yeah, I'm just being productive. I'm probably gonna start learning Norwegian on Duolingo. Um, Basically because Shay and I, well we've got this calendar, you can't see it actually, it's on the back of that door. But it's a calendar of date ideas and one of them is to le start learning a new language together. Um, so I'm learning Norwegian, Shay's learning Spanish I think, and we're both on Duolingo. Um, obviously I'm already doing French, German and High Valyrian as well. So, um, so now I've got my system going where I do four French lessons, three German lessons, two High Valyrian lessons, one Norwegian lesson and then repeat. Um, so yeah, that is the plan with that. I'm reasonably close to finishing High Valyrian, to be honest, because I don't have that many lessons as well. Uh, it's getting dark outside. Oh, I went to the food hub yesterday and got, um, in fact, that reminds me, I'm gonna make a cake. Um, Cause I got two cake mixes and three sets of mini pizzas, 36 mini pizzas and two cake mixes for five pounds, which is like six, seven dollars. Uh, the food hub's really cool because it's not like, um, what do you call it? A food bank. Uh, where with those you normally have to present like, evidence that you're unemployed or that you're on state benefits or that you're a lo low income group and they're specifically to cater to people who can't afford food. The Food Hub does cater to a lot of the same people because it's cheap food but what they do is they basically rescue stuff that's about to go out of date or that the supermarkets are getting rid of for whatever reason um, and then they sell it super cheap and the idea is A, to help people, again people who don't have much money um, but B, also to cut down on food waste as well so I think it's really good, a lot of students are using it um, my friend Fran uses it because she's a single mum so all cool stuff but yeah I've had two 24 mini pizzas in the last 24 hours <laughs> and I'm going to make the cake mix later so anyway that's where I'm at Gonna do some more filming now. I only keep this vlog going until next week as well because I've been shitty at vlogging. I'm very sorry. Hello, it's me. It is, um, what is it? It's 25 past 8 on Monday, the 13th of February. I'm very tired. I went to bed at like 5 a.m. last night and got up at just before 2 because I had a call at 2 o'clock. I also had another call at 5. Um, I'm now just cracking on with being productive and stuff. I did do a lot of work last night. I've finished some updates too. I've been working on these minis which are gonna be like. A bit like the Penguin Mini Moderns, so they're going to be short little books. So I've been working on a book called On Writing, which is probably about 20,000 words at the moment, and um, I've done all my updates on that. Of course, there may be more to come for it. I'm just kind of dipping in and out of these as I get to them. I've also started working on a travel book, which is uh, working, po working title is Postcards and Fridge Magnets, Travels Around Europe or something like that. Um, and it's all of my travel journals and travel poetry. So I've written my introduction to that. I'm writing little intros to each of the, like each of the entries in it. And then I need to just format it as well. Um, so there is that. Then I've got On Drugs, which is gonna be about drugs, about my crackhead neighbors and where I used to live as well. Um, then I have a short story for Snowbound, which is the book idea I came up with in Iceland based on a Bram Stoker book. Uh, and then after that I have um, Dutch Courage, which is the next Lightfold book. So those are all my writing things. My house is pretty much in order. I made a cake and some bread yesterday. And yes, just cracking on. So in a little bit I'm going to go back to bed. I watched a movie, a war movie called The Great Raid, I think it was, about American prisoners of war against Japan. And then I started watching My Love and My Killer, season two. I've already watched season one, so I've got the first four episodes of that, and I'm probably gonna try and finish that this evening. 
But in the meantime, I'm just settling down for some editing and stuff. I'm still reading Caligula and other plays by Albert Camus. It's a solid four out of five. Uh, the first two were also fours out of five, so they were um, Caligula and Cross Purpose, both very good. Then we had The Just, which was just okay. Uh, and now I'm reading The Possessed. So Caligula is about the Roman Emperor Caligula, fascinating stuff. Cross Purpose is about this guy goes back to this inn that his, his mum and his sister run and they're like killing travellers and taking their money and because he doesn't tell them who they are, who he is, they kill him and then they find out afterwards. The Just was like revolutionaries and talking about what price you should pay for a revolution and kind of reminded me of uh, that uh, Joseph Comrade book, the name I had to look up yesterday as well and I've still forgotten it. The Secret Agent, it reminded me of that. And now I'm reading The Possessed, which is the longest one, and it is based on a Dostoevsky play. But I'm pretty far in, I've um, been shooting a review of this as I go as well. And then once I finish reading this, I think I'm going to read Henry the Fourth Part 2 by William Shakespeare. I've already read Part 1. So that's where we're at. Hello everybody, it is vloggy time. It is um, 20 to 11 on Thursday the 16th of February. Shay is still on holiday so I've just been working and sleeping very weird hours and watching lots of murder documentaries on Netflix, as you do. Um, I don't have a huge amount to update you on really. I had uh, My last call of the week was earlier so I'm now free for the rest of the week which is good because I hate calls and it means I'll probably stay up all night tonight and then go to bed like tomorrow afternoon or something and slowly try and fix my sleeping pattern until I think I'm going to see Shay on Sunday. Um, I've just been filming some TikTok, so if you heard something, that was my TikTok going off. Also, I had um, a call earlier today, a Q&A call with a client, and I accidentally exploded a bottle of lemonade all over myself, so that was something. Changed my guitar strings as well. Very productive. Gonna make a little curry in a little bit. In terms of my books, so I finished reading that Albert Camus book, um, which was Caligula, another place, so like four out of five. Uh, I then read Pictures Metamorphoses by Herman Hess, which was a short story collection, pretty strong 3.5 out of 5. A lot of them were very inspired by fairy tales, which is normally something that I'm not into, but Hess has just got such a way with words that he kind of pulled it off, so I did enjoy it. Um, so yeah, that's about all I have to say for that. I read uh, over here... The How Not To Die Cookbook by Michael Greger, MD. Um, so he is like a nutritionist, a plant-based uh, nutrition specialist. So it's basically a vegan recipe book, except all the recipes are super healthy. But as well as being super healthy, there are actually some really tasty ones in there that have made it onto my overall recipe list as well. So that's, that was pretty good. Then I read uh, Alan Bennett, Two Besides, A Pair of Talking Heads. So these are the scripts of the two new talking heads that were filmed. Uh, during the COVID-19 lockdown, basically the BBC needed new content and they realised that Talking Heads was perfect to be shot in social distancing. So um, they re-filmed a bunch of old ones and then did two new ones. And this is the script for the two new ones, plus a really interesting introductory essay, essay by Nicholas Heitner, um, which, to be honest, that was probably the most interesting of all because he talked about how they made them during COVID. So that was a 4.5 out of 5 for me. And I'm now reading True at First Light by Ernest Hemingway with an introduction by Patrick Hemingway. Uh, it was his final novel. Not gonna lie, it's not particularly good so far, but it is very Hemingway. I mean, it's beautifully written, it's just quite dull. People are hunting a lion, you know how it is. It's making me wanna shoot myself in the head. Um, but yes, that is where I'm at. I'm gonna go and film the final few bits now, and then I'm gonna do a little, little cheeky bit of editing. Hi guys, hello, oh, it's not the start of a video is it? It is um, about quarter past three on uh, Saturday the 18th of February. My camera is on low battery, I really need to charge it. Um, I was charging it, but it's filmy time, so I'm gonna quickly do that. Made a few recipes from my latest recipe book today, so that was good. I'm still reading True at First Light by Ernest Hemingway. It's not very good, it's gonna be a three out of five. I have like 30 pages left to go. Uh, Shay is back in the UK now, but she's working today. I'm hopefully seeing her tomorrow. In the meantime, I've been playing lots of my Sims. I've been... Yo, hello. Um, okay, so when I tried to film my vlog last time, I ran out of battery, and I just haven't got round to it since. Uh, Shay spent the weekend at mine, so that was nice. We played some games. We've been playing Scooby-Doo and the Haunted Swamp on the Wii, which is a lot of fun. Uh, she did some artwork. I did some ghostwriting for clients, so that's all good. Uh, it's, it's, oh yeah, it's currently 4:30 uh, p.m. on a Tuesday, the 28th of February. Uh, tomorrow is the first, so my rent and all my bills go out, but it's also a Wednesday, so I get paid. So I'm kind of fingers crossed that the amount I get paid is going to be enough to cover all of my bills. Although I have a feeling it won't be, um, but then I have a decent chunk of invoices going out um, pretty much right after payday. So 
by the end of next month I should be in a slightly better financial position. It actually means I'm going to have enough money to um, do some work on one of my novels. Well, I say novel actually, it's a poetry collection, I don't know why I said a novel. Um, I have a poetry collection called Oceanus, it's actually, I'll link to it below, I've, I've done a video uh, of it here. Um, it's kind of experimental poetry but I want to get some illustrations made because it's based on the Titanic. So I want to get some illustrations made for each of the chapter headings of it um, and then I'm going to need to uh, get a cover done, get the interior layout, all of that stuff, and then release the thing. I also want to get a new tattoo, so when I get paid, my money's going towards that, and then after that, um, start to save up, pay taxes, basically. So that's all fun. Pretty busy. Uh, I had a call at 5 p.m. yesterday. Uh, I've got another one at 7 p.m. today, then one at 8.30 p.m. I have two calls tomorrow, one on Thursday, and possibly one shaping up for Friday. And um, you know me, I don't like calls, but that you know, it is what it is. I've um, been doing some cooking, tidying, cleaning. Um, the weather's slightly started to turn now, so I've been doing a few bits outside. I've got some like painting and stuff I want to do out there. I'm planting some rhubarb, all very exciting stuff. Books wise, um, so from according to my notes, what I have to update you on, I finished reading The Testaments by Margaret Atwood, 4.5 out of 5, it's the sequel to The Handmaid's Tale, very well done. You could read it as a standalone as well, although you're going to get more if you read The Handmaid's Tale first. Full review of that coming soon. I then read One Summer American 1927 by Bill Bryson, 4 out of 5, full review of that coming soon. Uh, that is non-fiction about the summer of 1927, loads of awesome stuff happened, so Charles Lindbergh made his flight from New York to Paris. There's some interesting stuff going on in uh, baseball between uh, Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig were fighting for the home run record. Um, our explosions, Sacco and Vanzetti were executed and uh, like TV was invented basically. So loads of stuff happening in that summer and this book literally just covers that summer and all of the stuff that happened there. Really interesting stuff. Some of it more interesting than others, not going to lie, but it's Bill Bryson and I'll just read anything that he writes to be honest. And now I'm reading... The Secret Life of Bletchley Park by Sinclair Mackay. Uh, so this is just non-fiction. The World War II Code Breaking Centre and the men and women who work there. Um, I've only just started it, but I do plan to do a full review of this as well. I have visited Bletchley Park. I find it fascinating. I've read, uh, the oh, what was the name? Andrew Hodges did a biography of Alan Turing, which was really interesting, so I read that. Um, and yeah, I'm just interested in that kind of stuff. It's like the birth of computing plus the, the, you know, the UK winning the Second World War. Thank you, America, and the other allies, but I don't know. The Enigma team did a lot. They saved millions of lives and shortened the war and stuff like that. So they certainly, they certainly helped. Let's put it that way. But then we were doing that with like inf information being provided to us from all over the world. I think the, the Polish um, provided a lot of like impetus that got the got the the ground the groundwork done. I'm just rambling now. Um, I guess I'm going to keep this vlog going. I don't know. What do we reckon? I don't know how long I have film vlog for. I don't think it's very long, so we're going to keep this vlog going. Um, I'm going to go and do some more filming and editing later on as well. Um, my Mac software, my editing software, I use Final Cut Pro on my Mac. Uh, my Mac is sometimes a bit temperamental, so for a few days the software wasn't loading. And basically I batch things up in 15 minutes, so I, I film for a little bit and then I go and edit for the remainder of that 15 minutes. And because I couldn't edit, that's why I haven't been filming, pretty much. There are other reasons as well. Um, but yes, that is where I'm at! Hello everybody, it is currently 20 to 4 on Wednesday the 1st of March 2023, can't believe it's March already. Still reading um, The Secret Life of Bletchley Park, which I'm still enjoying, probably going to be 4 out of 5. I've been eating some salt and vinegar peanuts, I love these things, but that, if my face looks weird it's because I've just had a lot of salt and vinegar. Um, I've had my first call of the day, which went okay, I have three more, including one radio show. Speaking of radio shows, I've been doing my proof listen to them, so I've got a couple of those now finished, one more one more to listen to. And uh, yeah, just cracking on with being productive, editing, filming and all of that jazz. Oh, hello there. It is um, five past six on Saturday the 4th of March 2023. Uh, Shay came over yesterday, so we watched Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, great movie. Uh, played some Wii, we did some more of the Scooby-Doo game we've been playing, did some colouring in, it was generally a nice time. I've just made a pizza, uh, just a frozen pizza to keep me going for a little bit. I have a deadline, I have to do another like 8,000 words for a client by Monday, well midnight Monday I guess. So that's my plan for today and tomorrow really. Uh, Shay was going to play tennis today but I guess that didn't happen because we woke up late. Um, she's working at the art centre tomorrow so that's good. 
Um, I have been reading, well I finished reading the Bletchley Park book, which is very good, a 4 out of 5. I'm now reading The Yellow Knight of Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson, which is book number 24 in the Wizard of Oz series. I'm right at the end. It's just okay, to be honest. I'm really just ticking it off at this point rather than anything else. Um, next, I think I'm going to read Marple, which is the new collection of short stories about Miss Marple by various well-known authors. I was actually going to read Bay's End by Edward Lawn, but Shay's taken that home with her, so I need to make sure she reads it and gives it to me back so that I can read it myself. Um, I'm also just finishing my current uh, audiobook, which is a Robert Galbraith strike book, and then I have the next one ready to go. I've been watching the Strike TV show as well, so that's why I'm trying to finish this one off, because I think this one brings me up to date with the end of the TV show. So that's where I'm at, and I'm just doing some filming and editing now while I wait for my pizza to cool, and then I'm gonna go do some more writing. Yo, Wagwan, it is uh, 25 past 11 on Sunday the 5th of March. My sleep's a bit all over the place. I don't know what time I got up. Oh, it was dark outside, so like 6 p.m. Um, I'm thinking about staying up all night because I, I have a call at noon and then I have the Q&A at 5 p.m. So I might stay up, do that, and then go to sleep. Um, I've also started, well, basically I've got this fucking deadline for tomorrow. I need to do another two and a half thousand words for that, uh, for a book I'm ghostwriting. So I'm thinking I can stay up and do that. Um, and to give myself more writing time because of my weird rules and stuff, I've started doing a bit of a spring clean, so that's very exciting. Earlier on, the neighbours were having a big argument outside. I heard someone shout, come here, and someone else shout, he's going to fucking kill me, let me in. Um, so that's very exciting. I'm still reading Marple. It's, I've been living one of her cases, basically. And that's about all i got for you. I've almost finished my uh, audiobook of uh, the J.K. Rowling, Robert Galbraith thing. I've also been watching Strike, the TV series. I'm on season two now, which is only two episodes. Um, and then I believe season four is the book that I'm just finishing reading. Um, so I'm going to finish that with a bit of jogging as well and then maybe start the next one. Kind of working ahead. Uh, I'm like six weeks ahead on my to-do list really as well. So that's all good. Did a bit more writing of me, like full book number five uh, called Dutch Courage. So that's that as well. And that's all I got for you. And I'm going to love you and leave you. So thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.